Hello friends, welcome to this channel. So in the previous video we show, how to create VPC using Terraform. So we have set up a VPC, and now, we can start spinning up a new instance in that VPC. So let's get started the session. So spinning up an EC2 instance is very straightforward. So previously we used the provider.tf with the AWS provider, and the credentials, or we use AWS configure to manage the credentials. Then, we have an instance.tf with an AMI, an instance type, and then we have vars.tf with the region information, and the AMI IDs. Now, we want to launch the instance in a newly created VPC, with security groups, and using a key pair, that will be uploaded by Terraform. Here is our instance.tf, we still have resource AWS example, AMI ID, and this instance type. And what we are going to add is, the VPC subnet. Now, you are going to say, you want this instance launched in a certain subnet, and this subnet only belongs to one VPC. In this case, main public one, is going to be the subnet, the security group you're going to use as, VPC security group ids. We can assign one or more security groups to this instance. This security group is called allow SSH, which I'm going to show you in next slide. And now, we have the public SSH key, key name equals, and then a reference to the key name of the public key, that can be used. Then, we need to create our security group. Here is our, allow SSH security group. A security group is tied to a VPC. You can see that I specified the main VPC ID to be our VPC. Then, you specify a name, description, ingress and egress rules. Egress here is just allowing everything. Protocol minus one means all protocols. From port, to port zero means all ports, and CIDR blocks if it is 000 slash zero, then it is all IP addresses. Ingress, from port 22, to port 22, protocol also minus one. And then we allow our IP addresses, but again you can change this into your IP address to make it more restrictive, which is best practice. Now, to be able to log in, the last step is to make sure, that AWS installs our public key pair on the instance. Our EC2 instance already refers to, OS key pair my key pair key name. You just need to declare it in Terraform. So, here we have a key named my key pair, that refers to, my key pair dot pub. You can also use a variable instead of the file name, so that you can easily change it later on. The keys my key pair dot pub will be uploaded to AWS and will allow an instance to be launched with this public key installed on it. You'll never upload your private key. You use your private key to log into the instance, but it's never upload to AWS. You only upload or you let Terraform upload your public key, which is my key pair dot pub. Remember your private key. If you lose your private key, someone could potentially log into your server and steal your data. Now let's see its demo. I will just run these steps from scripts to show you how to allow instance in a VPC with the security group and a key pair. So here I am going to use files, from demo 6. If you created your VPC already, then you might want to copy your terraform.tf state and your terraform.tf state.backup, from your previous demo. If not, then you can just recreate the VPC, as I created here. I also created my key and my key.pub. Remember that we can do that using SSH Keegan, and then, my key. First let's have have look at our, instance.tf. As you can see, it looks exactly same as in the theory. Here's subnet to launch, so we get an IP from main public one. And if I look in the vpc.tf, here the public one means it will get an IP address from this IP range, and it will be launching EU West minus 1A. And the other things are same as earlier. So now, let's try first, Terraform plan, just to see what is happening before you apply. So we are going to launch this, AWS instance, T2 micro, with my key pair. This is my key pair. Here we are going to allow SSH, port 22. So now, just type, Terraform apply, and then it will just launch this instance. So guys that it for this session, I hope I gave you a clear explanation about this. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can.
Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.